For our recognition program this year, it's the 70th anniversary of the first ever British test on the 3rd of October 1952 on the Montebello Islands just outside Western Australia. And it's 70 years. And the UK now stands alone after President Biden awarded a medal to the atomic veterans in, the, in America in December. The UK now stands alone as the last testing country not to formally recognise their veterans. France did it early on in 2021, say America did it in December 2021. So we're pushing really hard with our Look Me in the Eye campaign, which is there to ask the Prime Minister to look us in the eye. And Rebecca Long Bailey MP got a question in the House of Commons at Prime Minister's Questions, and the Prime Minister agreed to meet with us. That was back in November, and we're still waiting for that meeting, but we're hopeful that it could be as soon as a couple of weeks. So. We're really, really hopeful that with the people that we've now got on board and expanding this network of people through ICANN, um, through Mayors for Peace, and making sure that the world is aware that the children are still suffering. You know, generations are still suffering. If you've watched the seminar today, um, you would have seen the wives and widows, which was so powerful. You would have seen the children are still suffering. You, know, you put six people on stage six descendants and three of them are in wheelchairs. You know, that's a really high percentage of people that are really, really suffering. So we're trying to get the UK government to end this injustice. And with people like Andy Burnham, the Metro Mayor, and Steve Rotherham, another Metro Mayor, we have got now a voice. And the voice is getting stronger and stronger and stronger.